In today's video, we are going to be looking at a vulnerability that I discovered in Blazor applications. Not only are we going to be looking at it, I'm going to show you why it works, how it works, and how to use the Nuclei template that I released for this issue. A few months ago, I was working on a pen test for a client and one of the applications they had was built on Blazor. Blazor is a framework written by Microsoft that basically takes all of your code and compiles it down into a WASM or a web assembly file that is then delivered to the client and the application decompiles on the fly and runs. There are two ways that Blazor apps are built. The first one, more secure, is easy to run on the server end. And basically the client doesn't see all the data, it all gets run in the server. Um, it takes up a lot more resources for that application, but it is a lot more secure. I haven't found any issues with that yet. The one that I'm talking about is the client side where the WASM is delivered directly through the browser and then the browser runs all the software that it needs and then decompiles it and then basically you have, you have your application. The Blazor app is a bootloader in the form of a .json file and it's uh, blazor.bootstrap.json. Inside that JSON file is a bunch of instructions, some of which are the DLLs or dynamic link libraries that it also has to download. Now, if you have watched my video about deleting your temporary cache if you're doing pen tests, you'll, you'll actually see this in action. But these DLLs are also downloaded through the browser to the client and it's kept in the local storage. You can actually look into those DLLs and you'll find bunches of information. One of the things that I've noticed is that sometimes developers don't understand that you can extract these files directly out and start looking for them. And some of these uh, developers put all of these nice juicy secrets in. So there's lots of you know, database configurations, there's passwords, all sorts of things that they think you won't be able to see because it's compiled down into a WASM. I basically started digging around in these DLLs, found these uh, config issues, and that allowed me to extract out really sensitive information and allowed me to go on and compromise some other services. Now, 99% of the time you will find these files and they will be benign. They will just be framework files, but do look around and see if you can find these interesting custom files that the developers are making. So in order to make this more interesting and quick, um, I quickly wrote a Nuclei template to do this for me, right? And it basically looks for these uh, JSON files pulls out the DLLs so that I can tell if they're framework ones or custom ones. So you're probably thinking you can go away and use this Nuclei template to make loads of money on bug bounties. Well, sorry, but we've already done that. My friends, Death Pirate, Zephyrvish, and Malate, and myself, we spent a lot of time scanning through every single bug bounty domain that we could get our hands on, including some private bug bounty ones, um, just to check using this Nuclei template if there's any vulnerabilities out there. and sorry to say you're probably not going to find any in any bug bounty programs for a while at least until someone else makes the next application so don't waste your your time too much i decided though that we need to look at this from a different way to make sure that we've covered everything so around christmas time last year um Cygenta, um released a huge list of live domains and how we built that domain list was we took the 15 million most popular domains on the internet and we scanned them all and basically we found all the live ones and that live list was about 10 million domains so i took that 10 million domain list and i used my like, template to search through there so out of the 10 million domains that are out there there was probably about 700 i think we found a blazer in the client side configuration we discovered that none of those domains had an active bug bounty program. Unfortunately, there's no way to mass tell loads of people there are issues with these things. So we are working through them slowly, one by one, contacting them and saying, look, here's an issue. It's a work in progress. If you are going to go and use this Nuclide template that I've released, please do use it for decent, honest security work. We want to make the world a better place, a more secure place. Don't use it for malicious reasons. You know, it's not why we build these tools. It's to make things better.